Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Danny and today we're doing a kind of status guide to Starting Order 6, a horse racing management game. Um, think of it more like the football manager of um, horse racing games I suppose. Um, unfortunately this is the only one that's on Steam that's available here in the West. Um, it's not the first horse racing game. Um, I think Winning Post by Koei actually did make it onto Steam but it's Japan only. Um, but um, there doesn't seem to be that much great content on YouTube. I'm not find firing shots or anything, but if you're trying to learn this game, like a lot of people don't, most of the people actually turn off a lot of the advanced options, which isn't really particularly helpful. So uh, I'm going to help you guys out today by actually um, just keeping on and explaining how to do a few things in it. Anyway, so um, as you can see here, uh, you can sit where you want to race. Um, USA and Australia do not have jump schedules, just so you know. Uh, we're going to be playing on a combined jumps and flat schedule. Um, if you're starting out, you might just want to race flats uh, and difficulty. All right, so high starting cash, more better owned horses, easier training, better betting. Normal starting cash, average owned horses, average training, average betting. You get the idea. So we're going to be playing on normal. Uh, we're not going to be turning on simple training module because um, I actually want to at least attempt to teach you guys how to do that properly. Um, uh, so it does videos, okay. Alright, um, yeah we'll stick with our all blue um, silks here. Um, you can actually just play this game as a better or even just as a trainer. You can even um, you can even race the horses on this too. Um, but we won't be doing that. Um, right, I'm going to be turning off all the uh, legends because I don't particularly like having them on. And if you're starting out, you might want to you might want to turn these off as well. Okay, preseason auction. Unfortunately, there's a bit of an issue with this game where they don't actually tell you what horses you have before this starts. <laughs> So, um, like, my advice is basically don't buy any horses in the preseason, at least the first one. Alright, so um, you'll notice that you've got like this rather spreadsheet looking thing over here. Um, we've got a flashing mail message. It's going to say, hey, dum dum, go grab yourself a thing to transport your horses about in. So that's what we're going to do. Um, so and to do that, we need to go here. This is where we manage all of our... Um, training facilities. You notice that we've got no name uh, uh, stables named no name farm. So um, I'm just going to call this YouTube farm for now, uh, and we're going to keep all the stuff on mid grade. Um, now um, we need that um, horse trailer capacity, so we're going to do that. Something I like to do, um, and you're not required to do this at all, but I'm going to hire a gardener and also. Um, gallop rails just to make the place tidy the place up a bit make it look more professional um, you don't really need to do that um, but you know it's only a couple of grand so it's no, no big deal anyway um, we can actually hold up to six horses right now uh, we've got three you always start off with an age two an age three and an age four horse um, the status is on amber which means they're not really ready but they're not they're not um, not really ready to race just yet, but um, they, they, are, they are getting there. Alright, so Compton Bell, as you can see here, um, is a distance two horse, distance two, um, two mile horse, and as you can see here, um, he has a lot of potential. So, what we're going to do is actually maybe increase his stamina because um, he doesn't have any. Okay, that's speed, bad stamina, I believe. Okay, um, next up, Aglas Mist, and ooh, this horse actually looks alright, has a lot of stamina, has a lot of speed, okay, this one, I think we're on to something with this one, uh, uh, distance adaptability, enthusiasm, extra speed, cruising burst, so what we're going to do is actually t teach, um, we're going to keep you on medium, and finally, Lovner, Lovner is our age 4 horse, um, Two mile full for a long horse. Uh, you notice here the speed and uh, stamina is actually pretty good on this horse too. So we're going to keep that on flat as well. 
Um, you'll notice that these guys are mostly flat horse racers. Um, but yeah, like um, at the beginning, you kind of want shorter furlong horses because these races are kind of easy to win, especially with shittier horses. Um, so as you can see here, um, we need to actually select where we where we want to actually set up our, um, uh, our area. Now, um, if you go north, um, it gets less expensive. If you go south, which is closer to the heart of home racing, I've got all that, which is over here, it gets more expensive. Um, what we're going to do is actually um, put it back to where it was before. Actually, no, what we're going to do is actually we're going to stay in Wales. So, um, like we're going to stick it right here. So we're close to a bunch of races and um, yeah, we, we're going to living location living expenses at level 3. Um, and so we're, we're doing a bit of a compromise here. Um, so you fix the stable by doing that. Now, if you ever wanted to sell any horses, um, you set the reserve here and you just click auction and you enter the horse in the next auction. I actually kind of like these horses, so I'm not going to do that. Alright, so um, now we must actually see if we can actually get stuff ready for this horse. You see these um, slips here? This will automatically filter out all the races that are not acceptable for this horse. You'll notice that this horse can't really enter anything right now, but it's actually not unusual, but it does happen. Um, so we'll just have to accept that and move on. You notice that this horse, horse does have stuff that you can enter, and this horse should have stuff you can enter too. Yes, all right, so. <sighs> right, okay, so no maiden races. That's kind of annoying. Um, but um, it's not the end of the world. Uh, we can actually do some stuff. Right, maiden. Nope. Alright, so. Uh, juvenile class, I wonder. I'm just deciding which of these I want to take here. Um. You can check which horses, are, you just click on the race, you can check which horses, are, none of these horses have been rated yet. So what we're going to do is actually just skip a day or two. Alright, so hopefully this will actually update a lot of the stuff. Okay, uh, do we have any maiden races? Like, any at all? Nope. Alright, the reason why you want to go into maiden races first is because those actually, um, uh, what we can do is, uh, they, they actually give your horse a rank, and your ranking's actually pretty important because, um, it gives you a rough indication of how good the actual horse is. Uh, right, so um, it's the 13th of April. Um, we kind of want something near the end of the month. Um, so, or even actually in the 15th of May. This isn't open. Alright, so um, we'll enter this particular horse here. Um, we're trying to go for races that don't have too many people in the field. Uh, gives us a better chance of actually scoring some points. Um, as you can see here, this is on the 17th of May. Uh, right, so we've uh, entered our horse. Um, we need a jockey. Uh, we, we don't intend to race this ourselves, so let's um, sort them out by weight. Um, you'll notice here that um, probably the more expensive the person, the better, really. Uh, so what we're going to do... This guy's already won his first race. Actually, he's won a third of his races. He's probably pretty bad. Um, actually, we can wait it out a little bit. We've entered the horse in. We don't need to sign up a jockey straight away. Um, we might need to actually wait on that for a bit. So that. Um, right. Okay. So let's see what the uh, right end of the month. And I now have friends that's bothering me. <laughs> so, um, 
yeah uh, as you can probably see here um, right so we want one at the end of the month or at the end of the month or the beginning of the month um, we definitely don't want any hurdle races we want a flat race somewhere flat race with not many people in it now um Okay, actually, will this do? C4. Alright. Oh, jeez, these guys are highly rated, look. Yeah, let's avoid that like the plague. Um, your horses only have a few races in them in a season, so don't be afraid to just, like, not go into a race. Um, uh, unfortunately, they um, they picked picked the long distance horses, which means um, I I uh, how do I phrase this? It, it gives us less races to choose from. Essentially, um, we could dip him down a bit, but I don't think that's going to help. Actually, we could uncheck that. Maybe I don't know. Um, Race distance. Okay, so this horse is used to racing 2.4. Maybe we go for 2.2. Nah, nah, I don't think that'll do. Alright, so this horse is now in a race as well. Alright, so what are the jockeys like here? Um. Yeah, we'll just skip a couple of goes. Um, as you can see here, we need to be ready by the 2nd of May. Um, so, once it gets to roughly around 14, 15, we'll, um, we'll actually start um, getting our guys ready. Okay, so, as you can see here, we can now start... Um, actually, no, let's wait a couple of more days. All right. Now we um, stick this on red, and we'll see here um, it'll go from orange to green, hopefully. <laughs> All right, so um, uh, you're the 17th of May. We don't need to start worrying about you until actual May. All right. Ooh, this horse doesn't want to be ready, does he? Aha, here we go. Nice. So... Okay, so the 1st of May, um, we're going to put you onto blue. Alright, so... Um, okay, so... Alright, so we got a bunch of jockeys we can pick from here. Now we probably have somewhat of a better idea of how good these jockeys actually are. Um, we're going to hire this 75 um, pound guy. Um, oh, he already has a thing. Okay, cool. Right, so... Uh, we'll just do that. Okay, so we uh, need to go to the race course. Welcome to Carlisle. The weather... Skip race. Skip race. Skip race. Skip race. Skip race. Okay. Race six is at sixteen. Furlong thirteen. Runner National Hunt Flat Race. You can give your guy um uh orders and stuff. Uh, I don't generally tend to do that. Uh, let's just skip it up a bit. Okay. So it looks like um we have a fairly decent shot of doing something here. Uh, horse seems to be pretty well liked. Uh, let's see what the tips are saying. Okay. Um. Adius Artun and Duwag Cat are basically the, uh, the the horses we should actually worrying worrying about here. Um, you know what? We're actually gonna um, let's actually place a bet. Um,
Okay, so we've bet 9,000 on um, earliest item to win. Alright, so um, I didn't actually want to bet that much, but whatever. I have faith. Yeah, I'd strongly suggest you don't um, throw bets around like that at the beginning, but to be honest, this horse looks so strong that I decided to go with it anyway. You notice that our horse isn't number really doing all that well, but that's fine. Uh, if you press tab, it speeds it up like this. You also actually go into horse race mode like that. You see how well our, our horse is currently stuck number behind two other horses here. 13 is making ground. Ooh, he's actually charging up the pack here. Number four, the narrow leader from number ten. Number four, the fractional leader from. You notice 10. here that um, like our horse is actually doing all right. Number ten is last. Number one is making ground. Oh, Chili Race is overtaken. Okay. You notice that the Wildcat, the guy that was heavily tipped, is uh, not doing too well. I just Arton's actually not doing all that well either. Number six is last. Turning right handed. Number five goes well. Half a mile left to run. Number okay, a bunch of horses have exploded here, so that's alright. They have three furlongs left to run. Number two is the leader. Okay, so we're gonna go check out our our course that we actually bet nine grand on number here. Number ten staying on. Number two has a clear advantage from number ten, number five, and number four. The favourite wins. Okay, so um our horse didn't do particularly well on this race, but we did make him race ready, which um helped his improvement a lot. Um, but we did, on the positive side though, we made 30 grand, so, eh? <laughs> like, I, it's a bit sweet really, you know, um, I'm pretty happy about that, so back it up, um, right, so yeah, um, so it's even pace which appeared to suit well enough, the horse could have settled better, I believe the trip suited perfectly, we could never get into the race. That's fine, I mean it's his first race. I would have preferred him to actually go into maiden race. You notice that we've made a hefty chunk of change from that race. Um, like I wouldn't normally suggest betting like that, but yeah. Anyway, um, that's basically how you play the game guys. Um, you can, um, once in a while you'll notice a horse thing with a hammer here. Um, well, uh, Skip today's racing, so to speak. Ooh, this guy's actually almost good to go again, I think. Um, yeah, so if there's actually a jumping thing here, we can actually. Um... The thing is, we entered a jump horse into a uh, into a thing here, but like. There wasn't really that much we could have done about that, to be honest. Um, aha! Okay, there's a bunch of really terrible horses here. Uh, there'll be a late entry bonus, but we'll, we'll do it. Um, so, um, right. Uh, we need a jockey. Who is lightweight and not shit? Wow, you're terrible. Uh, you know what? I'm going to say... I'm going to book this jockey. Alright, so um, we can keep this um, horse on the uh, trot a little bit. Um, 10th of May, so um, what we'll do is um, put you on blue for just today and then um, we'll slap you on to red. Um, so what we'll do is we we'll do that and uh, 17th of May. Ah, yes, you need to now start actually training. Alright, so... Okay, so you can go on blue, bam. Alright, so 320 miles, that's not the best, but it's all you'll have to do. Um, alright, okay. Hello and welcome to Musselburgh. Today we're racing... Skip, 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 skip. Thank you. Race 5 is a 16. Furlong 8. Run a juvenile race. Alright, so, um... Lavalia's on a second race here. Um, it looks like she's 15 to do stuff. 
Um, Cuba is the guy that they've been tipping here. Um, yeah, I, to be honest, I'm not touching that thing. Last time, because the, um, these two guys over here were betting so much on them. Um, so, let's actually watch this race then, I guess. Alright, so currently we are second. And it's a jump race, so. Jump race is actually pretty interesting because, like, horses can really mess up and you can actually get some pretty decent results. This horse is not clearing all that much ground, but. Wow, these two are just gone. Like. Okay, let's actually keep it on our horse here. Making ground. Number one, the fractional leader. Number eight is making. If we can get third, I'll be really happy with that. Slow jump from the favourite. The leader has a clear advantage from number five. A slow jump from the favourite. Ooh, he's slowing. Five slowing down. Aha! Nice. Turning right wow, our horse is going for it. Okay, I think we boosted a bit too early there. Come on! I'll take that second. Excellent. Well done. I'll take that second. I should have had more faith in my horse. Alright, so... Yay. Even pace which appeared to suit well enough, trip appeared to suit well, we we're just beginning to pick up towards the end. No yeah, no doubt. We were at the back there for a while. Race five is a six furlong five. Right, so selling let's get that up. Okay, so it looks like um we got some horses on reserve here which you can pick up. Uh the age seven. Uh let's sit in on this auction. So you guys actually know what's get what the deal is. So they're gonna go ham on bidding on these guys because they're pretty good horses, but We could actually do with a short race horse, or actually one mile group by a group three winner. Yeah, group three though. All right, so these horses have been both been sold. Uh, right, so oh, did he not make any money from that? Damn, that sucks. But yeah, you did get a second, so that's all right. Well, anyway, um, that's going to be it um, for this video, guys. Thank you very much for joining me, and I'll see you guys soon. Goodbye.